So Heather, you're into the final on time. Uh, yes. How are you feeling about the race, first of all? Uh, I felt good. I definitely tried to play it a little more conservatively. Um, survive in advance, so I'm really happy. I wish I definitely had a stronger, a little bit stronger of a last two laps, but every race is a learning experience, so I learned from it a lot. <laughs> were you, uh, um, sorry, were you aware of what the time you needed to advance was? No, I wasn't. No. It was really, we got up on the track like right before, um, right before the last heat finish, so I didn't even get to see the board or anything. Um, I did get to see Josette finish in second, so I was really happy with that. That definitely pumped me up for the race. So when you cross the finish line, are you thinking, man, I might be out, or what are your thoughts? I, I knew that our, I was, I had estimated that I would hopefully be in on time, just the way the heat was set up. We had obviously a lot of fast people in that heat, so I was hoping that, you know, if worst case I don't get, uh, come in third, which I didn't, then I will qualify based on time. Yeah, I was talking to uh, Mark Coogan yesterday. He was saying that his advice to you wanted you to run it like the run the prelim like a like final. A final so yeah. did, you, did you do that? Uh, I definitely close like it was, or try to close like yeah. it was a final. So I just try to stay in it the whole time, and um, there was a little bit of jostling around. Like I ran in second, the second lane for a good majority of it. Um, no video in front of you. Oh, sorry. Just, <laughs> just, just, just audio. Oh, got it. Yeah, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and what, what's like your goal for the for this meet? My goal? Yeah. Just make USA proud, make my team proud, and make myself proud, and really get a good placement tomorrow. I was really becoming the final, so hoping to do have my best race tomorrow, of course. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, and what do you feel like the Ethiopians, they've been running pretty quick this year. I think both of them, all of them run around 4.02 or faster. Like, if it's that kind of race, do you think you can still be up there? Or do you think you're in that kind of shape right now? I think so. Um, I felt really good in practice. I had a really good workout last week that gave me a lot of confidence. And like I said, I have a really great training group and they give me a lot of confidence as well. So whatever happens in the race, I know I'll be ready for it. What was the workout? Uh, <laughs> it's my favorite, one of my favorites. It's like a Mark Coogan classic, um, eight, four, four times two. And it's, uh, I just really like it because I like to go fast in practice and it's one of the only op opportunities that I get to do that. <laughs> so what'd you run the last 400? What's your fastest 400? Uh, 58. Okay. Yeah. I did that in the first set though. All right. There's little rest, so it's like lactic, but, um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that in the first set, but I still did 